click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in this video we will study coaxial cable in detail. Now in the last video we have already studied what is transmission media, what are the characteristics of transmission media. Now let us see coaxial cable in detail. Coaxial cable. Now see, this is how my coaxial cable looks like. There are two conductors which shares the common axis in the coaxial cable. Now the components of the coaxial cable are center conductor, outer conductor, insulator and jacket. So first we will talk about what is center conductor. Center conductor is a solid copper wire or you can say center conductor is made up of solid copper wire. Then this is called as outer conductor. Here outer conductor forms a tube surrounding the center conductor. So your outer conductor forms a tube surrounding what? Center conductor and this conductor is made up of metallic foil. Now this is the insulator. Insulator is basically used to keep center conductor and outer conductor separated from each other. And at the last we have a jacket. This plastic jacket is just to protect the wire or just to protect the cable from the damage. So this is how my coaxial cable looks like and this is the structure of what? Coaxial cable. Coaxial cable we have the two conductors center conductor and outer conductor and both the conductors shares a common axis then we have a center conductor which is made up of solid copper wire then we have an outer conductor which forms the tube around the center conductor and it is made up of what metallic foil then we have an insulator insulator basically keeps your center conductor and outer conductor separated from each other and at last we have a jacket which protects our wire from the damage. Now as I said every transmission media has some characteristics. So in the same way coaxial cable has some set of characteristics. So let us see the each characteristic in detail. Now as in transmission medium there are six characteristics. Cost of media, then installation requirement, then bandwidth, then band uses, then attenuation and then EMI. So cost of media is nothing but what? the cost of media should be less your bandwidth should be more then your installation requirement should not be very high then your attenuation should be i mean in your wire there should be a less attenuation and emi also should be less in your wire so these are the ideal characteristics of what i mean these are the characteristics of ideal wire okay now let us see the characteristics of coaxial cable here coaxial cable comes in two types the number one is called as thin net and number two is called as thick net. Characteristics of the coaxial cables are number one is cost. The thin net cable is obviously low cost cable whereas thick net cable is cost free more. So thin net cable is a low cost cable and it costs less than even STP. STP is your shielded twisted pair cable and thick net cable costs more than your STP. Then we have the installation. Coaxial cable is very easy to install and coaxial of thin net cable is expensive less. I mean you can say it is a less expensive. So installation we don't require a high, I mean we don't have, we don't, do not have to uh, buy a or we do not have to go for a very high installation, high installation requirement for the coaxial cable since the coaxial cable is easy to install. Then we have the capacity. The lens based coaxial cable gives a bandwidth in between 2.5 Mbps to 10 Mbps. So the capacity or the bandwidth of the coaxial cable you can say it is between 2.5 Mbps to 10 Mbps. Attenuation, due to attenuation thin net coaxial cable can transmit a signal up to 185 meters means up to 185 meters there will be a no attenuation or there will be a less attenuation you can say but as your wire will go after 185 meters obviously it will suffer from attenuation and thick net cable can run up to a 500 meters so for thick net cable the limit of the attenuation goes up to a 500 meter whereas for thin net cable it is up to a 185 meter then emi emi is like you know uh, i mean it is less sensitive to emi so these are the characteristics of the coaxial 
cable. I hope you have understood the characteristics of coaxial cable. Now in the next video we will study twisted pair cable. Thanks for watching this video.